another edition of the Princeton Tiger Magazine series, Deep Discussions in Contemporary Poetry. As always, I'm your host, Jim Valcourt, and I'm here today with Pulitzer Prize winning poet and Princeton professor, Paul Muldoon. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you very much for having me. Well, tonight we're going to be discussing a little bit about one of the most seminal, interesting, and frankly, deeply beautiful songs of the last 20 years, and that is Kesha's TikTok. Don't stop making pop DJ one of the greatest things that I find about Kesha's work mm -hmm. is that she never breaks tone. I really believe that the speaker is this trashy. Do you strive for that sort of tone in your own work? I, I have tried to be trashy. Have you succeeded? I'm not sure if I have. One of the most um, prevalent motifs in the piece seems to be uh, this idea of oh. Uh, for example, in one of the lines, the speaker says, oh, 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 oh. What, what do you think that could be? Is that a yearning desire for some sort of deeper level of trashiness, or is this... I think that's probably a reference, well, to a couple of things. I think it's a reference to King Lear. You know, there's a line... Cash is referencing King Lear. No, 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 no which she is kind of transmogrified into oh, 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 or, or something along those That's lines. That's incredibly clever. I'm talking about everybody getting drunk, drunk. Boys try to touch my junk, junk. Gonna smack him if he getting too drunk, drunk. I'm talking about everybody getting crunk, crunk. Boys trying to touch my junk, junk. Gonna smack him if he getting, if he get, illiterate. if he getting, getting too drunk, drunk. I mean, it's, it certainly is repetitive, and that's, you know, repetitive. That's poetry, right? No, the party don't start till I walk in. This thing about the jump jump, that's what I, that's the bit, I don't really know what crunk crunk is. Uh, and I thought I knew what junk junk was, a junk's a boat. So she's got a boat. So she's in China. She could be in China. She could be in China. Nah, nah, we go until they kick us out. Uh, the police shut us down, down. Police shut us down, down. Popo -po shut us down. And what's the song called? Uh, this is TikTok. TikTok. Yes. TikTok. And of course, you know, I haven't even talked about that. I mean, that's time. Mm, that is time. You know what I'm saying? It's ticking away. Time. Tick. Um, and time, of course, is always one of the big subjects. Time, morning. She's got it covered. Don't stop making pop. I really enjoyed the line, don't stop, make it pop. It, it's just such a wonderful example of synecdoche. Synecdoche? I don't know, I don't think so. But whatever, metaphor. Well, there might be a metaphor of some, I don't know, it's conceivable, I suppose. But it's metaphor. onomatopoeia. What? Uh, simile, illusion, quatrain, quatuplet. You know what? Please, leave, leave the jargon to someone else. It's not working. Me up, you break me down. My heart it pounds, yeah, you got me. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for joining me, Professor Mulder. It was a pleasure, I, I, I guess. So I think today we've really agreed that Kesha is one of the most influential and really beautiful lyricists around, wouldn't you say? Uh, <coughs> well, um, not really, not really, but. Uh... Well, thanks so much for joining us, and you stay poetic. But really, it's good, right? Please.